we're going to talk about how to repair a slow computer and this can be a computer that's become very very slow uh, or a computer just is getting a little bit slow either way uh, can include um, error messages maybe there's even blue screen crashes and we're going to talk about uh, what to do when these things start happening to your computer uh, first of all is it a hardware problem or a software problem uh, generally it's a software problem it's usually nothing to do with uh, hardware whatsoever and that's way more than nine out of ten uh, times it's something to do with uh, some software and usually that software is the windows operating system itself uh, has um, lost a little bit um, of its stuff and needs to be needs to be fixed there's three issues that ruin computer performance one is registry corruption and the registry is a part of the windows operating system it's uh, the, the focal point of uh, the windows os and corruption happens inside of this registry it doesn't mean you've abused anything or you've done anything wrong without getting too deeply into it registry corruption does happen with normal use uh, spyware and malware it's actually malware is uh, means malicious software it's a contraction malicious software includes anything like viruses spyware adware all that stuff is malware and you need to have a malware cleaner uh, most people do usually when you buy a computer one is installed on it when you get it uh, so generally most people have that taken care of um, if if you do you need to first sign your computer is slowing down you need to do a spyware scan a malware scan because not only will those things slow down your computer but they can also steal information about you uh, which could lead to identity theft uh, the third thing a thing that's mostly overlooked that can make your computer perform really poorly is you could have outdated missing or corrupt drivers uh, drivers are device drivers I call them go between programs because uh, they go between your Windows operating system and um, each of your pieces of uh, hardware you have installed by pieces of hardware I mean even your printer uh, there's even uh, mouse drivers and uh, any kind of uh, program you might have installed needs a driver to interpret it to Windows and these device drivers become outdated or sometimes they go missing <laughs> they go AWOL altogether and um, when they do that really slows down the flow of information to and from Windows and it can make your computer get really way off its game a lot of strange things can happen and as I say it's the overlooked thing outdated drivers are overlooked lots of times uh, computers uh, the windows updates automatically uh, but drivers don't so they become outdated and again this is another thing that will ruin your computer's performance hardware issues of course th that's a fourth thing and uh, we're just not talking about them here because they are rare uh, you know I mean and you I, I guess you can have bad power supplies and hard drives but it's a total different thing usually a slow computer happens because there's a problem with the, the Windows operating system due to spyware registry corruption or outdated missing or corrupt drivers the good news is there's really an easy fix I mean there are registry cleaners some are better than others but a registry cleaner will good registry cleaner will get rid of the registry corruption in minutes and if that was your problem and many times registry corruption is the problem slowing down a computer just cleaning the registry will get your computer's performance back to uh, you know almost a hundred percent or even a hundred percent sometimes a uh, spyware malware um, you know if you if you have one you have to use it the, the first time your computer starts to slow down if not we, we have a solution for you and a driver updater will automatically take care of uh, problems with drivers and get your computer running just by up 
upgrading your drivers, putting in the latest one that's available, and putting in a good one if you have a bad one. You no longer have to, because of driver updaters, you no longer have to go fishing through the internet to find one and manually install it. A driver updater does a lot of that work for you, and as we say, it's, it's all automatic. The quick fix, well, we have a website that walks you through uh, what you do when your computer is performing lousy and uh, to gives you a little procedure to follow. Uh, we have software, well, it's a free scan, so you can tell if you have no registry corruption, if you have no malware, if your drivers are all pretty much up to date, you have no problem there and you'd have to go looking elsewhere for your problem. But that would be rare. Generally, a computer that's not uh, working well, it's going to be one of those three things that's causing it. Uh, if you had to go purchase one, it's this is the best deal around because you get these three software packages and the whole thing costs about the same as a regular registry cleaner, so you have nothing to lose. For instance, if you already have a good malware cleaner that you're happy with, uh, getting this piece of software, uh, you know, it's not costing you extra if you needed a registry cleaner anyway, so it's, as, as we say, it's the best deal around. And you can just visit repairslowcomputer.com and um, see what's up with your computer. you got nothing to lose, of course, as a free website, and um, we'll let you know there what you need to do to get your computer going good again. That's repairslowcomputer.com.